We recently admitted cold stone turtles from the New England Aquarium, who's a stranding partner and aquarium partner of ours. So we currently have 11 turtles in rehab. This has been the second highest year uh, for New England Aquarium for cold stone turtles. Um, so they were quickly at capacity and needed some help in, uh, in making more room for more turtles. Kemp's Ridleys are considered the most endangered of all the sea turtle species. Um, so everyone that we can rehabilitate and release is going to add to the genetics of the population. Cold stunning in sea turtles is the equivalent of hypothermia in humans where their body temperature drops uh, really quickly. They become very lethargic and emaciated, um, dehydrated, and they usually develop long-term secondary infections as a result of the cold stunning. Um, so they were stabilized at the New England Aquarium and they were transferred to us for long-term rehabilitation where they'll probably be for about the next six to eight months. Our ultimate goal is to get them released back out to their natural environment. Uh, but while they're here, they'll undergo uh, medical care. Uh, right now, uh, the majority of the animals are being treated um, for secondary infections such as pneumonias, uh, blood infections, and they're all on routine antibiotics at this point. Um, over the next few months, we'll start to wean them off of that and then monitor them, um, get some good weight on them, give them a couple good meals, and uh, they should be good to go by about May or June. In the state of Maryland, if you come across a stranded marine mammal or sea turtle, you're welcome to call the National Aquarium Stranding Hotline at 410. 373-0083 or Natural Resources Police at 1-800-628-9944.